in itself. Now they are sat very, very passively, maybe expecting a Sky Flash to come through at the beginning of the round. Now, one of the main things that PaperX were able to pressure onto was dish control. They constantly went to dish. So Giants have gone, let's go dish. And look where the majority of players are watching. They have a stun and Khan Khan ready. They're already taking contact, but he's had to fall off. Not terrible, though. They've stalled them. They've got the information. This will send Giants scrambling as to where they want to take it. We don't know, but they've given up control all across the map. And I think EDG were aware of their weakness being dished. The fact that they send a Tiger south side, clear it out, and now late in the round, they send nobody to clear out this same space. So he's got this on lockdown, and Giants are very much put in a box. The problem is, EDG think that it's the B yeah. side that they're moving towards, that they'll go to Arcade. That's not the case. And we're about to see Kankan Kan with all the pressure on him. Even when you don't go dish, you actually end up going dish. <laughs> like they, they have waited out the time. The smoke, though, to delay the counters on the other side. And Kankan Kan ready and waiting to receive. Well, I say that, Haodong might actually be the first point again. It is just a mow down. Even attempting to go for a night frame somehow. Manages to get a multi-frag, but the adaptations from EDG already showing on the map of Fracture from their last time out. And Giants, well, I hope they had more of a plan than that. Well, that's it. I think EDG just got ahead of it yet again. You see the drone go out, clearing space. But then by the time they actually make it out of dish, all of the space that drone has cleared is now occupied. There's players there, and they're not ready for it. Jumping head first into a meat grinder. Giants have not found success. And with another pistol going the way of EDG, that's a strong start to the map potentially ahead of them. Giants, you can see, are not investing anything. They're playing this as a super light buy. Yeah, Nuke is just going to have the Sheriff. They like to do this. Right this here. seems to be their right. eco purchase. One Sheriff, and then they just go with classics on the rest of the players. Gives them a chance to maybe win a long range fight if it comes. And well, there you go. Sheriff at least getting one. The classics also overwhelming. Nobody. How long? Well, again, putting these smokes up close, but it's just going to be the trades. Giants doing an incredible job here. Chichu, this is risky. He's going to go through the smoke and only manages to get one. Seemed a little bit of an overpace and overplay. But I guess when you got this man around, you can take a risk. It's the thing, though, he's going to have to do this with the Marshal now. Listen, he just needs a body shot on each of these players, and they're going down. No shields to work with. There's the first! That oh, was a oh, oh, shot oh, oh, as well. Oh, oh, oh. But Hoodie still alive at the end of the round. They might lose the pistol. They might invest nothing in the second, but Giants still walk away with it neck and neck. Yeah, that's about as much of a MasterCard thrifty as you can get. <laughs> like, just <laughs> investing into one Sheriff and then managing to almost just death ball over their opponents. As I said, like, this defensive side for EDG last time out was rough. And Giants managing to break back this early, trade so effectively, and... Okay, sure, it, it still came close in the end, but they're now going to come in with a huge boost in economy. Rifles across the board, and on the other side of things, well, they have a few sheriffs of their own. Such a wonderful sheriff. A little viper sitting inside of it. Bought it by accident. I thought it was a classic. It's kind of kind of ruined my day. <laughs> There's two minutes left in this store, so you know these things happen. But yeah, it's mostly pistols for EDG, and although Giants had a lot of success with them, you have to think that that won't be all too common Sorry. in this map. So already have dogs <laughs> found one, but it's just one Tom. Just one kill is okay. Anything else I would be certainly surprised with. Hao Dong, though, has now got a rifle, and Smoggy's picking up a headshot. This could get seriously costly. He's even going for the reload despite his low HP. He definitely wants another fight. Yeah, much safer fight plan planted. this time. A position where he really can't find anything from, and Cloud continuing his form from the last map. They're going to give Giants the lead. It's been a while. Well, actually, I say it's been a while. I haven't said that this series. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it has been a few days uh, yeah. since they've experienced that. And versus crew. You said about Cloud, right? He was the only player winning clutches on the side of Giants. He kept them alive for at least three of those rounds that we saw one over on split. That's three out of six. So you definitely want to see him mm. popping off if Giants are to have a chance. Yeah, I've always been a big fan of his Sova as well, even dating back to when he was on. Navi, he was very good at playing this agent, and Bala talking about the combination of alts. I think that's something that, even you look at one of the rounds they won in the last map, Giants are very good at that. You'd yeah, hope that 
as said, I, I don't think they're coming into this map blind. Clearly a lot of prep has gone in. And for now, at least, with the buy now on the board for EDG, they're going to contact in onto this B site. A lurk, of course, in the north side and just clearing some of that utility as they go. But after baiting out the Brimmy Smokes, probably just going to pause for the moment. I've always been a big fan of Cloud, even though he might be one of those Sovas that doesn't run the Odin. We can, we can look past it in his case. Maybe I've just had to from all those EMEA matches, but... Mm. See how they get on, how they fare up against the rifles of EDG. Southside control, as we said, you know, Dish was definitely the weakness. Main control was not. EDG were able to repel a lot of these pushes in previous games. And it's Concon who's going to have to do it to begin. Flash up, not caught him. He's already ahead of them. They're clearing the corner, but a little late. He'll still get a double for his trouble, and now come more. The teammates flooding the site, and EDG. Left. Fighting strong in this round, it's only Nukia left in a 1v4. Yeah, and the, the thing is, obviously taking the orb is vital for him getting close to his ult in the next round. But they know exactly where he is, completely surrounded as well, locked in with Tichu behind him. For him, any damage would be nice. Taking out any of these left. players remaining, first goes his way, making things more costly. But as said, escaping this one, I don't think he's going to be expecting the player behind an EDG. I'm going to keep this one relatively clean as they break back onto the board. And it might not have been the the round where Giants put everything, but they, they had a good full buy. It wasn't it wasn't too many weaknesses really to report back on. I think in the next round you might see someone going a little lighter, but for the most part, this is just well handled by EDG. Good point of contact. And Konkan up in the corner, able to catch him off guard, pick up a double. And that's the thing about this guy. There's a lot of players who would get everything right up until that fight goes down. And then the yeah. first kill is found, maybe, but the follow through, not often. And it was Cloud that was taken down as well, a man that's already shown his individual prowess. Oh, a judge and a blade storm for Khan Khan in this round. It's one of the deadliest combinations. Nobody just runs straight out. I, I, I love the confidence on this man, but that's a little bit ridiculous. Maybe expecting off the flash, he didn't quite get the information that he wanted. And just go sprinting in. Maybe it's a sacrifice so that Khan Khan can thrive, but whatever it is, it's ended up in a bit of a weird scenario. Alts as well. Just look across that board right now for Giants. Lockdown rolling thunder. And actually, it's not going to be them popping any of them first. It's the orbital oh, strike Khan. to clear and buy time for this man. That's what it's all about. And he spotted one as well. The information, good. Someone's got to check it eventually, but not in time. He's got two already. And now causing havoc up behind. They don't know he's going to judge the dash oh. in. It's ambitious. And it won't work out this time. But I think he might have done enough. He spotted most of the players. Only Killjoy left in the unknown. And the feet. rolling thunder avoided by most of the squad. Two players still close by the stun, though. That's going to stop them from helping out. But the pressure isn't applied. It's a little delayed on the side of Giants. When they make it out, all these players are able to fight again. The stuns have subsided. And now the 2v1. Cloud having to find both, and he'll find none. It just feels like right now EDG have their number. These flanks coming through every single time. You have Nuke basically holding on to one entire side of the map. And every single time, it does feel like EDG are managing to find that gap. But I mentioned it sort of jokingly that maybe nobody made a sacrifice so the Khan Khan yeah. could make that push. But it actually did work because he could clear the fact that there wasn't the Killjoy utility yeah. on that side of the map. And he was able to walk up behind. It's a ridiculous way for that to work, <laughs> but it did work. Go check if I can flank. Yeah. <laughs> you, want to, you want me to flash? Yeah, no, you, no, you that's not die, what I said. So I can see if I can flank, but that is, yeah. One hell of a round. And again, you're going to have those ultimates still available. Orbital Strike. And they threw in an ult just to buy time as well. That was all that right. Orbital Strike was used for. And when you bear in mind, there was a lockdown. Hey, happy birthday. There was a lockdown on the other side of the map. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. could have just used the lockdown instead. And there wouldn't have been anything to counter it anymore. It truly is just EDG getting the reads. Absolutely perfect. Now 3-2 in the lead. Operator going to be on the board as well for Kankan, but the fact is, it's back to pistols for Giants once again. That's it. The struggles will start to show. The side of Giants needing this timeout. They're coming in, sure some ultis, but it's sheriffs across the board. Now look, they've already had a, quite a resounding success when it came to classics and one sheriff. A bit more <laughs> firepower to back it up this time, and even Cloud toying with the idea of taking a marshal. 
I'm a big fan of like, if you're going to take five sheriffs, that little bit extra being put into a marshal can help your buddies out a lot. They're not going to do it by the looks of things. Look at the supportive utility that's about to go down to set this man up for an opener. And he ain't going to miss it. Through the wall, Hoodie's lost his head. Well, now they just fall back. Happy with ahead. what they've managed to start with. That operator did take quite a bit of damage. Kong Kong having to be healed up, but well, that's why he had the support to begin with. That's an awkward fight. Nukia will just about get out of there. 11 health left. Giving him another shot. It'll have to be a headshot that he finds. Well, for Giants, they're playing it nice and passive, but they're going to... Oh, they're not going to be spotted. The Tasmanian Tiger not put yeah. out just yet. So they'll be playing blind on info later into the round. Edward starting a bit of a shift. You can see Hao Dong moving towards the A site. But they have it all locked down with Killjoy Utility. So the second contact is spotted over here, the rotations are back through. And the Tiger, no, the Flash, in fact, about to come in. Fatinho almost caught him with the Blast Pack over. But he missed his way up top. And now the rest of the squad will crumble. Ryan on for one. But he needs, yeah, there's so much more to even do damage to this squad. That is a solid fourth round. Yeah. Only one player dropped in the form of nobody. And other than that, they keep things nice and clean once again. Finance is really starting to build with Chichu uh, hitting around that 7,000 credits mark. And on the other side of things, Giants are now going to be able to get that purchase. Still, those ultimates for the prior rounds are sat online and Fatinho. He's almost got his up, but he has been deadly quiet so far. He was an absolute thrill to watch in that first match. Incredible when he faced versus EDG and crew for that matter. But you do have to start to wonder if the pressure is getting to the star duelist because right now he is not in the form they would be hoping for. Nobody is insane. This guy's aggression in the early rounds is scary. And with them already pushing up Dish together, EDG have a lot of control. The problem is that lockdown it gives away what they already know. This squad is on south side and looking to move into the B side. They've got really one of their own. Chichu. Yeah, he's, he's going to be within it. I think just wanting to almost place the lockdown the second he is able to. Not going to find anything as well. And that start is not good. Nuke K down. Now the counter lockdown in play, and Fatinho even being forced off by Utility, desperately trying to find the counter, and the orbital strike will be just that. They're going to hold on to their control at least. The Rolling Thunder's used up, though. EDG are not giving up just yet. They want a few more fights, and Giants will give it to them. Cloud on the first and the second. This man has shown up for Giants all series long. He's been one of the main points to look at, but now down, the round is lost. Edward Gaming. Giving them next to no space, no quarter, and no rounds. Five to two. And this is starting to get reminiscent of that previous map, Tom, if we see Edward run away with it. Yeah, they seem just so ready for everything that Giants are going to throw at them. They are with the lockdown, they collect the orb. They, they even get one player detained just because they know they have the cover of it and that he'll be in a position to place his lockdown immediately. They're ready for anything to be used on the other side, any peak, any aggression. And because of that, it means that it comes down to just individuals, basically. Can Cloud get a multi-frag? Yeah. It's just not what and you want to be seeing. He did. Giants. Yeah, he did, that's but true. that's all they got. That's true. Showstopper is the only ult remaining. Everything else has been expended over the last couple of rounds for Giants. And, oh, well, they haven't got any rounds for it. Now, maybe looking to pick up the pace. Well, they most certainly are but it's not helping them, at least not to start. Again, the knight in shining armor for the giant squad has been taken down. And look at the damage on the back of it. Fatino and Ryan both solo! And Hoodie being taken down in, frankly, unbelievable no. fashion. They've got nothing so far on the side of Giants. And they put everything into this round. What a devastating result for this squad. A map that they never play. They might wish they never played it. Yeah, I did might have wanted to keep it that way. <laughs> the map they banned of Pearl, I honestly think after their game, just the other day, maybe yeah. looking like a much brighter chance. I also think that genuinely, Khan Khan is teaching the devs about their own weapons at this point, because I don't think the operator is supposed to work like that. No, this guy, this guy is cold. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think he was just mimicking his actions on the stage in one of our first days. 30 seconds left.
Ain't no scope to be used sometimes. 83 HP on these remaining attackers, and they have been patient. You give them that. They've been very patient. Yeah, they're just saving. They just want to hold on to the weapons for the next round, but like, if, if you're on the EDG side, why would you allow them to? You have got the finances to throw players into the wind. If you manage to take out a gun or two, it is wholeheartedly worth it. Rhymes already and you, you have to hope that, yeah, Vitinho's not getting anything. They make it look easy. A prime gaming flawless in round number eight as they take the lead six and two, taking big strides towards that playoff stage where, as said, no Chinese roster has ever been before. And at this point, you almost have to believe they're going to be doing it. Giants yet to show up on the stage today. It's funny to see him hit a shot like that and then just act so calm. <laughs> just the fist bumps. Oh, good job. Good job, he does guys. It on the yeah. daily. Everything went according to plan. Well done. Hey, well after done. the clutch at the end of the last map, that was me. That was nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what a series from this guy. What a series from Edward Gaming so far. We're in the yeah. same boat. It's starting to feel like deja vu. Giants had that little spark in round two where they fought back with one Sheriff and Classics. They won their third round as they should. But now they're in the same spot, trailing their opponents. Just that one memory of a decent round or two. And they're out of timeouts with this one here. It's almost the same. Yeah, just having to almost burn through them. Give that opportunity for Pipson to even just try and, I think, level the nerves a bit. It, it doesn't look like the Giants of old. And sure, EDG have been playing a fantastic game, but it has to be said that some of the stars on that side have gone missing. Nuke not been there yet. Vitinho quiet as well. To get them online, to get them into a position to do some damage is something that has to be on the cards, but again, Finances are not going to allow for it. It's pistols once more and back to pressuring that A site, but wow, there's a, a jet main on the other side is waiting for them. The drone is heard, it's avoided, <laughs> and the space taken afterwards. They're trying to clear where he was before. That, that's how you know. Okay. That's how you know he's in their heads. And he is actually moving back to exactly where he was moments ago. Maybe a little bit lucky to be alive. Oh, he's what? actually going back through the smoke. I, I, I don't know how he's come out relatively unscathed. And actually, Hoodie has managed to find the opener on Haolong instead. A lot of their utility now dissipating. And for Giants, after a successful initial fight, they're going to fall back. Yeah, they've left Nuki the whole time waiting. And, and I imagine they thought that just seconds away was nobody rounding the corner so that Nuki could take him down. But that aggression hasn't come out from the side of EDG, maybe in part because of the pistols that they're up against. They're not on the B side Ooh. either. It's going to be spams through the smoke that have actually caught Fitinho. Chichu doing well to equalize the numbers. Will they allow the oh, No, they no. won't. Through the left. box and the smoke. Now it's getting a little bit silly. They planted it safe. At the very least, the man advantage taken out of their hands, the weaponry disadvantage is glaring. And very quickly, that one is closed out by your defenders. Hey, look, Giants do okay to get a plant down, but at this stage, yeah, all eyes are on the next round. They have to turn up when they get the rifles in hand, or this series could slip away. Yeah, and what? I have to say, everybody seems to be performing on EDG, but the highlight for me so far this map, Chichu. Like, just the way he used his utility, he basically placed his nano swarms in the safe plant yeah. so that then Fatinio goes to run there, and it, the second he pops it, he starts spamming where he'll run back to. He's so aware of every piece of utility that he has placed to just get him free kills. Such an intelligent player, and also 11 and 2, which, hey. The That's way the thing. Been going, it's uh, like, the guy has 11 kills and he's died two times so far. Uh, it, it speaks for itself. Um, this is a little bit more aggressive than what we'd seen in the past, but he has support, of course. Oh, it's a breach baby. stud here. And he's going to go back, hold that with the operator, cause problems for them on the way through, and allow somebody else to find that damage. Instead, it's Smoggy up behind this box, and they are so focused on him. Will they see him? He got pushed up in the air. The stun goes in, but that is a great rolling thunder from the side of Giants. The rewards being reaped as we swing. still got one. Just one. It leaves it in a 1v3 that Haodong surely cannot win. And he's caught running through the smoke. Another round for Giants. A much needed one. Yeah. To be honest, they need some more. 
Yeah, no, a big round from them. The Rolling Thunder definitely playing a huge part. Other than that, the bait and switch was a nice idea from EDG, but maybe not the right call in a round with that sort of ultimate online. I also just like the fact that it's a little bit more direct. And in the meantime, you just had new kid. I said, he's been very quiet, but starting to wake up, starting to step up. Even just that individual ability of his could make all the difference. But as we saw in the last map, a lot of the rounds are few and far between. Can they start to build this into a streak? Oh, straight away, they're gonna lose Hoodie. And he's gonna escape relatively unscathed. Oh, what? Why he's going? He's running it down! Spike After the opening pick, that's the least expected thing. No. I, I, even knowing that it's nobody, this guy is insane. He will run it. No matter what, but hold on, Giants are back, competing. 30 HP on Cloud, 58 on Nukia. It's certainly not looking pretty. No smokes to play with either, but they might. See, even then, they're going to put you this lockdown run. into play. They still have to do so much more to actually Where grab that Chichu value because of the go? smokes. Chichu goes spawn, especially with the brim down. There's no need to he's, stay aggressive. He's getting caught, right? In fact, two of them are, yeah, two of them are just going to take the hit. I wonder if anybody's actually going to push off the back of this. Uh, I, I guess probably expecting that there must be that third player there for them to not even risk it. Nuka's in a great position. He's going to well, almost give it up by the fact that the alarm bot goes down, just trying to buy as much time as possible. And Chichu has already dropped another. Oh, no! It's Wiffy from Fatinio. That was their chance. Both players facing the other way, but uh, he really has not shown up today. That was the fear in a high-pressure matchup with everything on the line. New heights Last for Giants to reach, and it seems to be getting to them. Out of timeouts within the first couple of rounds, and they wish they could find some more answers. Oh, this is just tragic. Absolutely tragic. Chichu almost ducking under those bullets with the lockdown <laughs> placement. Why he's not rocketing? Yeah, and, and I think you see it. Earlier on, we saw Pipson ha had a smile even when they were trailing. Now, though, reality setting in. Yeah. And EDG are knocking on victory's door before this half even ends. Oh, the Ooh. combo is nasty! Hoodie for the second round in the row is immediately dead. It's just old spam. Everybody trying to find something. Good work from Cloud to put this back into an advantageous spot. Last round of the half, so every being, everything being thrown in. The fact is, though, they've got that man advantage, but let's be real, even that hasn't meant a lot so far in this game. What? No, no shot. No! No! The Timmy, the turret's gonna give it away! <laughs> I feel like he played against Paper X and went, I understand <laughs> now. I und I've, I've learned how to play. Uh, it is ridiculous. This guy's just insane, honestly. I'd love to just see every round from his perspective. Like 15 seconds in. No contact, I'm running. I'm running, the d running it down, boys. I'll take Northside. He's side. joined W Gaming. He's w making Gaming. This is his application for W Gaming. Spreading. My goodness. Well, Smoggy. Look, it's possible 50 and 75 HP on some players, but this has to be, he has to go nuclear as they come around this corner. Stun through, seems decent, can't peek with the nade. He's forced back into the corner. Good shot, but that's all it amounts to. And his teammate, miles away. Yeah, but it's the man who closed the last game with an impossible clutch. Spike planted. You never doubt Kong Kong until the moment his body hits the floor. A one versus three to find the new kid's gonna make sure he doesn't even get a moment's notice. Giants have at least managed to garner themselves a couple of extra rounds, but it is still a tough, tough way back into this game. It's just so silly watching it back. Nobody down below. But the thing is, again, he finds the reward for those kind of plays time and time again. They're having fun up on this stage in the biggest game of their lives. They're able to crack a smile. What does that tell you, our analyst desk? What that says to me is them boys playing with a lot of confidence up there. EDG is up 8-4, <laughs> and it's all smiles. Yeah. Uh, Vanity, let me ask you a genuine question. You're a pro player. You look across the stage, you see a bunch of players from EDG smiling as they're honestly just ruining your hopes and dreams of getting out of the groups. What do you even do at that point? Gotta laugh back, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's 
gotta, you gotta be like, man, we gotta do something about this because this is embarrassing. Bro, gonna Dude, laugh through the pain. He's walking by himself, arcade every round, <laughs> takes, taking the rope. <laughs> he takes the rope into four people, just dies, and just starts laughing. Like, yeah. I feel like that's. I think EDG is just in like a lot better like uh, mental like space right now. He hopped on the rope and then was like, let me slow it down for a little bit, and then still died. It was just so great. And when I talked about pre-map about the old combinations coming through, it's actually working in the other favor. EDG is dominating when it comes to yeah. that. This Brimble is perfectly positioned to counter Cloud and the entire drop position, and it buys time for Kong Kong to just do this flank and eventually just basically wrap up the round, which, by the way, nobody still walked by himself arcade <laughs> and somehow found space for Kong Kong to do that. Yeah, it was absurd. And, but also, too, there were a lot of layers to that as well, right? From the orbital strike landing to the nano swarm also being there. They're like, they're just doing such a great job of, like, shutting them down. And when we talk about shutting down Vitinho, a guy, Vanity, who has been immaculate this tournament, has been just neutered in this game. I think the lights might be a little bright, you know? Uh, he's been one of the best performing players, I think, in the first couple of matches. I think he's been probably 280 ACS, probably. And he's hasn't shown up in either map here so far. Yeah, he's struggling to find entries. He's taking quite a few, but not as much as he normally is. So you're seeing confidence be lost from them. How many times did we see Hoodie get ult comboed or peeking first for some reason dying? I think he had four first deaths. That's yeah. the sort of thing that they can't continue doing. Yeah, with the score being 8-4, Giants need these next two rounds to even have a chance to get back in to this one, or else it's going to be a 2 0. Let's send it back to the casters. Well, Edward is most certainly gaming at 8 to 4 in the lead, and Giants on their defense of a map that, again, they do not play. This is going to be a tough uphill battle for them. Contrenant. And, uh, well, Tom, <laughs> I have to ask. You really want to use that word. Don't I you? really I need to learn how to say it. it I'll, I'll have some classes with GB after. But the thing is, for Giants right now on the defense, Tom, where are you at? I, I, is there any hope? They need a pistol. They definitely need a pistol. I don't, I don't think there's any question about that one. The thing is, it's definitely not going to get any easier because now you have to face off against that entry force and there's a lot of utility to be used. I'm looking at Nuke here. He, he needs to have a great half. And already, well, it's going to be an aggressive start for this defensive side. Well, if you can't beat them, join them, it seems. EDG have gone straight through Dish. Well, look, it was their weakness. Why not try and exploit whoa, it on whoa, the whoa, other whoa, side? Whoa. A few toe taps on the way across, but it comes at the cost of a plant. EDG locked in the A site now theirs, and they've got even the actual spawn on lockdown. They're seeing that it's clear and good idea that most players, if not all, are coming from this angle. Still, that doesn't help them in the initial fight. Cloud is able to pick up one return that makes it a little bit more difficult. But it's Nuki of all players to go down. They still have a lot of that initiating utility, but a player up top after the stun. Chichu only good for one. Giants keeping it close, but they have to get boots on the ground, get into that site, and start the defuse as time ticks ever further away. Another player comes up and around. But hold on. Now the last man standing, it's Chichu. Oh. The defuse already halfway. The smoke blinding him, and he might not get a chance. Never mind. They've lined up. And even the body block was not enough. A Red Bull clutch for Chichu. And Giant's hope seems to be going down the drain. This has to be one of the best performances we've ever seen from an individual. He can do no wrong in these matches so far. The first match, and four. he was fantastic. But every single time, it was Look stopping them from planting. So close. Or in the after plant. Chichu has been phenomenal. And again, we started off not long ago with this roster, looking at EDG and talking about Kong Kong, but with nobody last time out in the series, Chichu performing in this one. This is a real deal team. And while for Giants, they need to try and do what they did in the last. Can they do something with these pistols once again? It's once more right a there. solo Sheriff and Classics. Oh. Well, the Sheriff's at least got one. Yeah, Cloud was actually hightailing it through Dish at that point, so fair play, being able to adjust in time. Damage is also being done onto this man here who's looking the wrong way. They walked right past him. Oh, what? And somehow Nuke wins it. <laughs> That's a justified spam. He had no chance in that fight, yet still he comes out on top. Surely not. After all of the rounds we've witnessed, when it comes down to next to nothing but a few pistols, this squad dodged it. reaches a new level, but with Hoodie down, pressure's now on Cloud to find another, and he won't land the shot this time. Now EDG are getting back on the horse. Yeah, 
this is kind of where we expected this round to be, but the shaky start made it look like Giants were going to do it again with the pistols. That seems to be where they've been best, if anything. And while Smoggy is going to put Nuke in the grave, it's left all onto Rhyme. I don't even think he managed to get the Spectre back, so now it really does just come down to can he drop another player? Can he make things that little bit more costly? And I think the answer is probably no. Smoggy gets this kill too, that's huge. One away from Rolling <laughs> Thunder in a very crucial round. And Rhyme's making the call. What I think the call might be is to make them die to Spike and certainly lose his life to it. And yeah, just denying them access to another orb, which is a good call. As I said, Smoggy picking up that kill. Wouldn't really do much for Rhyme or the side of Giants, but it would help EDG a lot. He'll go down getting his cash up for the next round, but they are six rounds behind on the side of Giants. And keep in mind, they had the, si the side choice. They got to choose attacker defensive start. That shot, truly ridiculous. Oh. Look how calm he is. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter that much. 10 to four. Just like the last map, if I Giants are going to fight back into this one, it really does have to be now. Khan Khan only going to be on an SMG, and how is Fatinho already dead? <laughs> that just seems absurd. Like, he's gone pushing all the way into Dish and has, has just hand-delivered them a rifle. Yeah, Fatinho's really been having a tough time. He's going in, straight into the site, dodging the bullets, 35 HP. Khan Khan just about alive. The swing through from nobody, not getting them much either. The dropout, Smoggy's gone. That flash didn't delay. And now the spike's down in the open. Giants might have a chance, but with Rhyme gone, everyone else is caught behind smokes. Nukia's flank might be their best chance. And with any look, EDG will be focused on that spike that's now down on the ground. They might not have the time or the space to really worry about Nukia. Never mind! The man might not play a role. Careful. It's just Chinchu left alive. He has the spike, though. And he has had a lights out game. Four deaths on the board so far. Will we add his fifth to the tally? 55 HP, barely oh. holding on. But he's found another kill. And now it's just oh. the 1v1, but Cloud comes out on top this time. I, I think that might be the only man in the server who could have actually stopped him. Cloud again has still been just fragging along. He's got 19 kills. I, I, just bear that in mind with the scoreline once again. He's still been able to put up numbers individually, but he's at least managed to take that one over. But again, that was a bonus round. That was, that was just a, that was the round you kind of expect Giants to take cleanly. Instead, they're going to have to come back in with a couple of Guardians themselves. And on the other side of things, a, an early rolling thunder, two ults, one orb away, which... <laughs> oh, wow, they didn't like that. They didn't like that. Let me tell you, Cloud out here like a villain. But you know what? He might have earned it. Top fragging the server right now, despite the scoreline. Somehow more is required. And I have to say, you know, we've seen the grandfather over in EMEA. We'd seen the father of Valorant. I call him the, the kings as well over in Spain. Well, Fatinho's the prince, and it looks like he's a while before he gets that crown. Under Fury, good tag, no follow-up. But yeah, Fatinho, you hate you hate to say it, but he's got two kills so far in this map, yeah. and that that's just you need more than that. Yeah, the prince has been turned into a frog, it seems. Very much so. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Execution, nice shot from Hoodie. Khan Khan out of the mix, and the spam has done a lot of damage. Lockdown even going to be committed here. Even after the damage, it will force the players from Giants actually very far back. They need to start running right about now with Nuke being lost. This is a problem. Oh. They've even put the orbital strike. In fact, they're going to get the tape because of it. If they get this kill, it could all be over. I love the idea from EDG. So smart to try and catch them as they rotate out. But this time, Fatinho lands the most crucial shot. Yeah, yeah, if he goes down there, if he stays on two kills, that that round is done and Giants might as well start packing their bags, but he's bought them some time, some space, some opportunities. Oh. How darn good timing. He's got two somehow! His third in the round, but his fourth evades him. Giants again winning the 1v1. No, I need to see that from Rhyme's point of view. The Red Bull clutch for him, he, he had to kill the player one way and then swing back around the other way. So I, I think that was actually ridiculous from him as well. How long, I think if he's healthier, 
probably takes that over the line, but Giants, they're clinging to life. And these are the sort of rounds that get you pumped up as well. You can see it from Cloud, from Hoodie. Like, they are getting into the zone a little bit. The difference still four rounds, and don't get me wrong, EDG still have this map firmly in their favor. But the fact that we're starting to see some of those players come alive gives at least that little bit of extra hope. This round, again, it's not going to be the best weaponry-wise for EDG, but they do have a Rolling Thunder. Smoggy's even bought up a rifle. Rolling Thunder in each direction, though. They can be traded out. Orbital Strike for Hoodie. Here it goes right away. Rolling Thunder's put out. Fatinho able to catch nobody. That's a big kill. Flashes taken out of play. Chichu trying to sneak up. They're checking it. They're not winning the fight, but the trade is there. Giants maintaining their advantage, and with weaker weapons, well, a close range fight is ideal. That's exactly what's going to be offered up on a plate. With Ryan falling, that's a weapon to be retrieved. An orbital strike to dodge, but oh, it won't be dodged. Never mind. They're hightailing it back, though. The rifle still in hand. Okay, the orbital strike, very unlikely for this round, but something that they can save up for in the next. And while they, all of this is going to be heard by Cloud, he'll at least garner the information. The thing that's worrying is just if they can get to the right point to use that Rolling Thunder, EDG still have a chance in this round. Like planet. Well, the plant is through. That will draw Giants into their crosshairs at least. The hope being that they can either buy enough time for that Rolling Thunder to be crucial in denying the defuse, or how Dong can draw their eyes on the site, which he most certainly will now. And the off angle being held by Smoggy oh. can do damage. Now that is a bit of an anomaly. The kill found the stun out, but Smoggy's got a player on his right. He wasn't ready for Cloud. Giants cling on to life. With a seventh round now on the board, the gap is down to three. Yeah, they're starting to grind this one back. And it's, it's still a rough road to get through, but it's actually quite good that we're seeing some of those ultimates being burnt out for the Giants side. Orbital Strike, they did build that one up. That was the plan for the round of EDG. But they had to expend the Rolling Thunder in the same way. And actually, EDG are going to take a pause. Now, this started to happen on the last map. Very early, taking a pause to make sure that they still have time to make sure they get back into this one. And even with the fact that they've won three rounds in a row, the finances are not particularly good for the side of Giants. Chances are you're going to have to see a weapon joggled over to Fatinio, who is one off the showstopper. Same for the lockdown as well. They might not be available instantly, but with this map having so many orbs, a definite possibility that that could come through. As much as EDG need this time out to make sure they're on level footing moving through, Giants will no doubt be thankful to have a moment to consult their coaching staff. They obviously valued it in both maps so far, burning up both timeouts very quickly. And now, at least this time, they found a way back in. It's time for EDG. The mount that attack once more. As we said, a lot very, very close to being online for this squad. And all eyes on players like Chichu. We haven't seen Konkon find that much space in the last couple rounds. They've been able to shut him down on the way through. Will that be a consistent factor, though, for this Giants defensive side? Uh, Just being sent over. Oh, oh that's actually going to get picked up nobody. He was ready with a flash. And it's going to spot the aggression. I think there's only one player being caught by that. Here. Going to start spotting in the other direction. Fitinio waiting and actually ends up killing the player behind. Yeah, it was Cloud on top. Good angle. You know, both of these players on that one, it's difficult to deal with. Even as they just tried to jiggle Fitinio. Orbital strike on the site. Catching them, crossing back out. Chichu's picked up another. This is starting to look very, very good for the side of EDG. With nobody's spot not being seen, they now have everything to work with. The information with the Seekers shows them exactly where their opponents are. And with just Nukia standing, one versus three, another nail in the coffin of Giants. EDG ever inching ever closer to the finish line here on That's Fracture. Yeah, their utility execution was just sublime. 
the fact that they put the orbital strike in and then the aftershock close, it meant that Cloud basically just had to run across no man's land to try and escape. And on the other side, you still just had Khan Khan and nobody just thriving within the chaos. They seem to be the masters of it. 11 to 7. And then just look at the damage, by the way. Three rounds in a row for Giants. And they come into this one with a Stinger and a Sheriff. They will be completely reset for what could be their last round of the tournament. Terrifying prospect for this defensive side. And now, as well, they sit and wait while EDG sets pace. Nobody on the, on a, on the same old tactics along the rope. This time, though, luckily, it's his teammates that he's on his way towards. Now, there's four players stacked yeah. up. Giants have made the right call. They've gambled correctly, and they've got the reward already. The opening found, the space denied, and EDG back out immediately. They've realized what they're up against. That might be a gun to be had as well. Something to be picked up. In fact, the entirety of Giants, bar hoodie, have completely rotated. They are playing a game of risk at this stage. But it looks like they might have got it spot on once again. The peek through the stun is just perfect. Completely caught. And now the lockdown from the defender is going to be coming out. They can't really pressure onto the site at this stage. So they're going to have to start running back in towards that B site once again. But they faked it. They faked it completely. They've realized what Giants are doing. It is such a perfect play from EDG. There is a completely open site. Giants have fallen for the trickery. Look at the smoke where it's used as well. You know, EDG are aware there might be a lurker somewhere around here, a site anchor. But no, Ten seconds the left. space was given and it was taken. EDG, four versus four. Nukia coming in with just a Sheriff. And the spike has to be defused time against the defensive side. They have to flood in and find space quickly. And there's already a response being teed up for the side of EDG. Right into the fray. Picking up everyone in sand. All three kills in this round have been there. And Giants, I don't know what they want to consider, but there's no, not really a decision left to make. Ryan in a 1v3. He'll find the first. Has to dart to sight if he wants to even have a chance at this. And Chichu has closed out any opportunity. Five in a row needed for Giants. Deja vu of the previous map. Never even made it this close there. And EDG have everything they need to close out this series. Yeah, yeah you have to feel at this point that this one is done. But Giants just haven't showed any real lease of life. Every round they've had has come down to clutches. They've not managed to build up any economy. And because of that, you look at what's on their side. A showstopper is something at least. And seeing this operator oh my. in the hands of Kong Kong. Oh, what? 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 It's just absurd. Even continues the push. Nobody is taking over. Three kills. He was alone. Nobody alongside him and somehow they now sit in a huge advantage. Should be done. Giants are locked in the spawn. Nukia and Hoodie, the ones that have to clutch it in the weaponry is at a disadvantage. The oh, lockdown no. comes in, insult to injury. The clock now a major enemy for the side of Giants. And they're running it down. But it, it, look, Nuki is in trouble. I don't think he can even get out of there at this point. Barely. So close to the they're line. Both detained. They're detained. They're both. This is done. The clock alone would win it. Smoggy's up close to finish him off. An execution. And that's what this series has been. The side of Giants are out of time, out of luck, and out of champions. EDG making no. history for the region. The melee to finish it off. His team has deserved every accolade earned along the way. And now, by far the most successful Chinese roster we've ever seen. What a devastating loss for Giants. They'll be going home proud of the heights they've reached. But knowing they were so close, it's got to be heartbreaking. Yeah, this roster has gone from strength to strength improving every tournament they've attended. EDG now look like a real contender to fight in towards that trophy.
The Chinese roster doing themselves proud, and unfortunately for Giants, this will be the end of the journey. They did well to make it to champions. They did well to Give take up, themselves folks. a dub here. Unfortunately, today just was not their day as they faced off against that full force EDG. Well, the crowd certainly has love for Giants, but I think we know who they're here to cheer for. EDG, the fist bumps of victory, <laughs> the respect palpable on that stage. But they were the better team here today. Let's hear it for EDG.